So in this problem, we have a large plywood box with a volume of 576 cubic feet. Its length is 18 feet greater than its height. Its width is 2 feet less than its height. So looking at our box, we already have our dimensions given. So the length is 18 feet greater than its height. So this side is the length. And the width is 2 feet less than the height. So this is the width. So the other side left has to be the height. So they gave us that volume is 576. So volume of a 3D rectangular figure is our length times our width times our height. So we can go ahead and fill in each of these. Our volume is 576. Our length is x plus 18. Our width is x minus 2. And our height is just x. So if we multiply x plus 18 times x minus 2, we would have x squared minus 2x plus 18x minus 36. You still are multiplying by x on the outside. Then combine your like terms, x squared plus 16x minus 36 times x. Now we're going to distribute through by x, so we have x cubed plus 16x squared minus 36x. So this is a polynomial problem, which means we have a maximum of three solutions, real and complex. Here, we don't want to try to factor out x because then we would be right back to this previous step. So the only thing we can do is set this problem equal to zero so that we can later on apply the zero product property. So we are going to subtract 576 on both sides. And now we have four terms, so we're going to factor by grouping. We take the first two terms and factor out the greatest common factor, which will be x squared. And we're left with x plus 16. We take the last two terms, and our greatest common factor there is negative 36. That will leave us with x plus 16. Now what we are going to have is 0 is equal to x plus 16 times x squared minus 36. So now that it's set equal to zero and the problem is factor, we can use the zero product property. Take each factor, set it equal to zero, and solve. So x is equal to negative 16, and you can either factor here or you can solve by square root. Both of those are two different ways to solve quadratic equations that will both work. So the question is, what is x? So let's go back to our diagram. x is your height. Since you're talking about an actual measurement, height can never be negative. That means we have to ignore this answer because x is our height and our height can never be negative. So our height is 6. Then we have the width is x minus 2, so our width would be 6 minus 2, which would give us 4. And then our length is our height plus 18. Since our height is 6, 6 plus 18 gives us 24.